What's up, gamers? I got three words for you. Yeah, what are those three words? Hentai mission Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> for some really important backstory, uh, I was going through the Steam page and just looking at the new releases and like just talking about all the all the weird shit on Steam because I never open up Steam and I never look at the games. This is a gaming podcast now. Um, you know, I I, I buy discs. Or I, I look at the Nintendo Switch eShop, which is a little bit more quality control. Um, so going through Steam, I found, you know, you find some visual novels. You find some uh, stupid, shitty games with you know, the, the the tower defense game I saw with the big uh, titted anime girls, right? And as an aside, I feel like when I make a game, if I, like, actually care about it selling well, I'm like, do I have to, like... You, you know kind of I mean? have to, but I feel to like be I have to. Fair. In a the typical thing that towers have is a maiden at the top. Atop well, the not, tower I'm sits a, a maiden. I'm not making a tower defense game. No, I'd but making... in defense of this tower defense game, atop the tower sits a maiden. Titties bouncing as the. No, poem but I, I feel like she's not. I feel like she's defending the tower. I didn't look that closely. Yeah, what do you think Rapunzel was doing? It's just she was just chilling. She didn't. She wasn't doing shit, man. Is that in I the watched lore Tangled. That's in the canon of Rapunzel. She's just chilling. Yeah, no, right. I think that's. I think that's how that went. Um. So anyway, so I was going through the new games, and uh, on one of the new games released uh, this month, May second. Uh, there's 31 Pretty positive recent. reviews. That's okay. This is fucking insane. Uh, the game I found is called Hentai Mission Ukraine, and it has um, just an anime girl. Like she, she's wearing a blue long sleeve shirt and like a brown skirt, and her hair is blue in the f- back and then yellow in the front, like Ukraine. Okay, can and I ask a question? Having yeah. because I can't see it, I'm not looking it up right now. Would you suggest that this game was in development for a long time and then were rapidly switched to being Ukraine themed in the last month? Uh, no, I think this game was in development. This looks like a game that was in development since uh, the beginning of March. All right. Uh, I'm almost certainly certain this is the game is two dollars, so okay. I might just buy it just like to see. Um. Okay, yeah. so here I'm going to just read some reviews. Um, this is not recommended for 0. 0.4 hours on record. So mm-hmm. that's not that long. Honestly. That's not that long. That's like 20 minutes. Right? It's too quick to be making such a rash decision. I agree. Um, but they they said uh, there was no scene of our fine heroine getting railed by a putler. I guess Putin Hitler combined. Because mm-hmm. um, I guess mm-hmm. they they. Yeah, uh, by a Putler atomic missile. I wanted to see the Ukrosi pop off using Unity assets. Why was one of the runes a dead bird? Very sad. Parentheses killed my boner and brother Jonathan boner frowny face. End parentheses. Okay. Uh, so, so what I, I think said, I might need to get this game. <laughs> what I said was that point four hours is not long enough. But based on his complaints, it's totally like valid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this uh, person has one hour on, and they recommend it, early access review. Absolute modern masterpiece. Could not recommend this game more. Definitely up there with other S-tier games such as Garfield Kart. Honestly, good game, though. I think that if you are getting Hentai Mission Ukraine... And there's no popping of the Eucharistie. I think that it's valid to not recommend it. Well, I think, I think that should only happen if you like die. You know, if you if you win, why would the Eucharistie get popped? You know what I mean? Celebration. You only popping your pussy during the Great Depression, my man. <laughs> I well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll say yes. It's just how you you um, fund <laughs> your uh, your burlap sack of potatoes. I'm trying to think of anything related to the Great Depression, other than the Dust Bowl. But those weren't even really that. They're they're kind of just like two separate things that yeah so layered on top anything. of each other. Um. Why is there an RTS survival building game that also has nudity in it? And I can't read the title because it's in what appears to be Chinese. Mm, so you should be able to read it. It isn't. Mm, mm. Well, just because I am a proud Chinese American man doesn't mean I know Chinese. Well, that's a shame. Wow the the state of the the state of the. Steam, the Steam Greenlight Program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, released on April thirtieth, twenty twenty two. This one is for friend of the cast, uh, Lily and Bully Buddies. It's called Only Furry, eighteen plus, <laughs> and hmm. it looks uh, like something I'm not going to click on. Looks like it, it looks doesn't look funny. Name. It just looks like it's for a certain audience that I I don't agree with. <laughs> eighteen plus. Yeah, I don't like a good 18 plus. Uh, was... This is so bad, man. I don't. I don't like it. I don't want to be pressured into being a guy who has to make a game that's like borderline porn in order for people to buy it. But I feel like that's. That's where the market is. That's where the market is, which is uh, horny people so... need to be silenced. It seems like that. Uh, corner of the market is flooded right now yeah but you know what like i feel like all these games are probably like free or like you know one to five dollars and they take like an hour to complete so people it doesn't even matter if it's flooded like you just people who are playing these games are probably playing all of them yeah and probably playing for 30 minutes at most yeah well it's because it's probably all they like you just quickly throw together some bullshit and i guess i don't know if you can draw things you draw some anime babe. Well, based on uh hentai mission ukraine and he's talking about the the unity yeah. asset store no no definitely it looks like they just recolored um some unity assets yeah absolutely um but maybe it may, with maybe some original stuff added in there i mean it did take them maybe two months to develop it uh <laughs> at the most mm. uh, at the absolute most it took two months um unless it didn't if it took longer than that then they they knew something okay kaiju wars this looks like a real indie game I hate when I find a thing that I'm like, this looks like a real game, and it's it turns out to be horny. No, this this looks normal. It's just uh, it's a strategy game, and it doesn't have a nudity tag. It also um, doesn't look like it was made by anybody in Japan, which I think, well, that could cut either way. Actually, never mind. I feel like if you having a kaiju and no nudity tag, does that mean? Godzilla got some dungarees on. I would like a a, a, pants a kimono Godzilla. <laughs> a kimono Godzilla. No, I think I think I feel like Mothra is more of a kimono. Uh, this is now now we're just making like a a a fighting game where there's different skins for the various. Uh, yeah, which honestly, which is, that's you know, my you favorite part of every video for, game. Uh, you know, a little five dollars for your your Komodo Mothra skin. You pay, uh, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, we don't. It's all paid DLC. It's like Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you there's, we have special for- Godzilla bucks, and you, and you spend your G bucks on like you know, it's like ten dollars for like Abraham Lincoln Godzilla. Yeah. Which you know, yeah. the more I'm talking about this, it's kind of cool. It's I think it's good. <laughs> Like, I don't want to just be on, like, a Japanese theme, but King Kong Sushi, well, is it- Sushi yeah. Chef, it's a great outfit. That would be great. Or, I mean, really, any chef would be good, but... Yeah, but, like, the... with the, tall white the bandana hat. with the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, with the Japanese sun. flag on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, I don't know, the... 
put an egg in his hat. Yeah, fuck this making it a fighting game. It's just going to be... <laughs> it's just fashion Godzilla. It's fashion Godzilla. No, I mean, it's still like a battle royale. It's still like Fortnite. Um, okay. It's a battle royale with um, kaijus. Yeah, that sounds cool. It it does. <laughs> I hate that I was like, just like kind of memeing about this. And I'm mean, like, yeah, this I, I like, shit, I'd play that. <laughs> We've done it before with uh, Enter the James Bond verse, which we were just riffing, and then we were like, "This is the smartest idea that's ever happened." What's um, Pile Pal? Pilly Pals? Mm, this looks like a game for you like because drugs. it's uh, it's a, it looks like a game for babies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know what I'm I mean. Kinda... I mean that in a positive way. <laughs> All right, I accept. I guess. Um, I'm trying to think of what we would call Fortnite kaiju's. Um, you just you you just name it some Japan like a bunch of Japanese words, and that would that will like real like is that will reel in the weebs who this is like clearly catering to in some way yeah um uh, uh legendary mm-hmm. mm, legendary kyoto kyoto of legend yeah kyoto's in there man <laughs> um and you throw mirai which means future mm, oh wow that's this a good is one a- this nah, is a rough a good one. Do you want to read? Um, so I found I was going through it. I was like finding games. And I was like, oh, these look like real games. You know what I mean? I was yeah. having a decent time on the Steam page after we got through Hentai Mission Ukraine. Got um, through is a bit of a <laughs> overstatement. I, right, I was right, enjoying right. that. Okay. Well, I was on board. I mean, for $2, I still might play it just to. <laughs> should stream it i well i think i would get my account <laughs> nuked uh oh fuck did i miss the did i like lose the, oh no i found it again uh this one is called jigsaw puzzle dash futanari massage mm, that took a twist user tags lgbtq plus <laughs> you don't say <laughs> it also has a cinematic tag wow <laughs> mm-hmm. i could have could have seen that one coming as well uh, I don't like that. I think it's great. Dune Spice Wars. There's a game. <laughs> yeah. What about um, Mecha Godzilla and um, is that a skin or is this a separate character? It's a separate character. Okay, okay, okay. Mecha Godzilla and um. He's got like the Furby. Because you know, if you rip off the fur of a Furby, it's just like a little robot dude. Mm-hmm. One of the skins is like a Furby. That would be cool. Yeah. I and think then, I, I think I could get behind that. Um Mothman. But um he's got a butterfly outfit. He's got um uh Instead of moth wings, it's chicken wings. Mm-hmm. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... Well, I you ever see the people who have, uh, like, angel wings tattooed on their shoulder blades? Uh, I mean, I don't associate with people like that, but I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. like, a, <laughs> it's a common tattoo theme. Sure, yeah. What about instead of that, it was like fried chicken wings, mm-hmm. and then on your in your tramp stamp area, you have like a little dip cup of ranch or something. <laughs> I mean, ranch is pretty good. Ranch is <laughs> ranch is pretty good. Ranch is pretty good. Oh, you can get Darude Sandstorm on Beat Saber as DLC. Worth it, dude. Does that apply to the VR version that I have? Because I might just. You bust out the the headset again just to do Darude Sandstorm a million times. It's a great song. 
truly a one hit wonder. You know? Yeah. So I goes. loved that song when I was like twelve. It was yeah, it was a great it was a good time, man. I don't know. I was I had that song on my MP3 player that was just like a USB stick with a headphone jack. And it could hold 14 songs. Um, And then I found a cell phone in the wild. And I took it home and I called the contact mom. Mm -hmm. Did not answer. Uh, But when I got a call back, that was the ringtone. I was like, this girl's cool. It's a girl's phone. She had Darude Sandstorm. Probably paid like three fifty for that. Yeah, it's crazy that we used to pay for. There used to be commercials. There were television advertisements to be like, if you text this number, you could get fifteen seconds of a song. You could for three fifty. Uh, Only. Oh Only yeah, I do. I do remember phone. those commercials. Those were um, good. Yeah, they I were. Think. They were good. Yeah, I liked them. Uh, I think. I like, don't, like I remember them existing. I don't really remember any specific yeah. ones. Yeah, I'm trying to remember specifically. It was like uh, I feel like it was just like big shiny tunes or whatever. Do you have big shiny tunes or do you have? No, that's what I call music. We yeah, have that's like, what I call music. In Canada, we had big shiny tunes. <laughs> that's such a terrible name. It really. I'm is. sorry. <laughs> I mean, we got bad names up here. Um, well, but there's some bangers on big shiny tunes three. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what big shiny tunes are they on now, or did they they stop that? Um. I think they kept going for longer than they should have. Much longer. I think they're still they doing now what I, that's what I call music, but uh, I don't know. Cause I don't, they got watch up to TV 14 mm-hmm. and this came out in 2009. Yeah. Uh, but three, I think had all the bangers in it. Dragula by Rob Zombie. Mm hmm. Fly Away by Lenny Kravitz. Mm-hmm. Pure Morning by Placebo. Iris by Goo Goo Dolls. Come on. Classics. My Although Hero I don't by think the I've Foo Fighters. <laughs> you have heard Dragula. Come on. I, I don't know. I mean, you know. I'll have to hear it in order to know if I've heard it. You know what All I mean? Right. Um, How's It Gonna Be by Third Eye Blind. Okay. Um. Karma Police by Radiohead. Some great stuff in here, man. Great stuff. Great stuff, stuff dude. Great stuff. Uh, Big Shiny Tunes 2. <laughs> oh, of course. I mean, how could you forget? The prequel um, was really cool because, now, first of all, mm-hmm. Walking on the Sun, Smash Mouth. Oh, I mean, that I do know that one. Smash Mouth, honestly, kind of rules. Honestly, they do. They don't get enough respect. For smashing um, those mouths. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry mm-hmm. that Steve Harwell, um, he did something recently and he's canceled, I think. Um, oh, uh, what'd he do? <laughs> I think he was rude at a concert. Um, uh, eh, I mean, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> he tweeted, Women be shopping in 2007, and uh, his career is never going to recover. Um, I mean, so walking women... around the sun. Women do be shopping. They be, I mean, uh, and you know what? Men be shopping too. And they thems. Uh, they thems. The, well, we, we know they them that shops. Let me. <laughs> they thems be shoplifting. Um, <laughs> walking on the sun. They still my mouth. live experience. Oh, they be Fly shopping. Fly <laughs> by Sugar Ray. Push Maxbox 20. Um, but the cool thing that they did is they had song two by Blur mm-hmm. as track two. Didn't need to. It was a compilation album. Wow. 
but they thought about it. I mean, the, 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 my shiny tunes and me, I mean, they're really, uh, they really run the gamut of all the greatest hits that you would want. They do. Man, damn. Big shiny tune six actually might be the best one. I'm not even going to, I mean, there's nothing to say here. It's just all bangers. All killer. Truly. No filler. Truly. You say that track four, fat lip, some 41. All killer, no filler, baby. Uh, Sheesh. One step closer, Lincoln Park, The Rock Show, Blink-182, Flavor of the Week, American Hi-Fi, My Way, Limp Biscuit. Hash Pipe by Weezer. My Way by uh, Frank Sinatra. Clint Eastwood by Gorillaz. Oh, the Gorillaz rule. I knew you'd say that. I didn't. What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> I didn't know you'd say that. I didn't know you liked the Gorillaz. You know the Gorillaz is just one guy? Yeah, I don't like that. You know Linkin Park is just four guys? Yeah, I didn't know that. It's actually five, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Didn't one of them die? No, that's um, Chester Bennington uh-huh. of um, Lincoln Park, who died. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I was reading the thing, and, and I was like, like oh, I remember yeah. his name. It's just, it's not in the members, it's in the past members section, which is oh, why. I... They got a new guy. <laughs> They're like, well, <laughs> spot opened up. Yeah. A uh, comrade just posted in the Discord uh, a TikToker living off disability just shot their slumlord, which is my favorite crime of all time. Um, so, you know, if we were still doing crimes, we'd probably talk about that. Yeah, but we won't. Dude, TikTok's so. Are you still on TikTok? Absolutely. Dude, it's, I feel like you should get off TikTok. Me too. Um, like, I feel like you can, your mental illness is very trackable. Oh, okay. Based on TikTok, TikTok engagement, you know? Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, what can I say but hard agree? I, it's it's kind of undeniable. <laughs> the data's there. It's, you know, it exists. That's fine. I'm not going to do anything about it. Have you ever played the Wikipedia game of like, going from one thing to another in as few clicks as possible. Mm-hmm. I feel like we've done this on the cast before. <laughs> this is like season zero stuff. Yeah, probably. Um, I'm looking at the Lincoln Park Wikipedia right now. More like Lincoln. Mm-hmm. Go for it. F- fart. I knew it. I knew you would say that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That's bad. First of all. Uh, but I feel like this is a good article to get places. You Getting places, I mean? you say? That's you could get pretty far away. Uh, Associate acts Jay Z and Steve Aoki. Very, very different parts of the world to um, to jump to. Yeah. You go to Steve Aoki, you're only like three away from Hitler, you know? The classic game. Are you only three away from Hitler? I don't know. (laughs) I know so little about Steve Aoki. Steve A. Toki. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Does Wikipedia not have a random article button anymore? No, it does. Well, they, they probably got rid of it because uh, they're, they've they been asking for donations and they're like, shit, man. Uh, got to take some stuff away before they take us for granted. Yeah. Um, no, it's still there. We should uh, steal the concept for the podcast Chaos Pony. I don't know what I don't know what that is. You've never listened to Chaos Pony, interesting. No, I've never heard of Chaos Pony. Interesting. It's a very very famous podcast, um, and their their gimmick was every every episode they would 
hit the random article button and then that was the topic for the episode. Yeah, we could do that. Um, so this is Guy Laforge, born April 13th, 1958. It's a French rugby league player who represented France. His, his article is one paragraph long. He is the twin brother of fellow rugby league player Francis Laforge. Does he have a champagne? Um, because no. I typed in Guy Laforge. Um, it's, I, I said it wrong. Mm-hmm. It, it's very French. So it's not Guy LaForge. It's it's basically Guy LaForge. Yeah, but is it spelled literally G U I space L A F O R G E? Very close. But not <laughs> but not <laughs> very close. Uh, you gonna... don't you don't know how close you are. I don't because you won't tell me how it's spelled. Uh, I I sent it in the chat. G U Y space L A F O R G U E. Did you send it in the chat? Oh I the did. oh the Zencaster yeah, yeah. chat. Oh Zen- for Gooey. Yeah. Um. He captained France when they played two Test masters against the Australia touring team. In the 1986 Kangaroo Tour of Great Britain and France. Wow. So th- why does this guy have a, f- a Wikipedia? He captained a rugby team in France for two test matches in 1986. Um, I really feel like he doesn't need it. His total scoring is zero. I mean, I guess he's a... a- uh, yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is just a paragraph. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know. I feel like... Uh, what the fuck? I did another random article. It gave me another professional uh, footballer. Mm, I got an NFL player for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now I got a fucking handball guy. What the fuck is this? <laughs> There's just, a lot of... I feel okay, like now a I got a town in Brazil. I feel like a lot of Wikipedia just by like sheer numbers has to be sports players, athletes. Well, yeah, because there's like a special type of like athletic autism guy who's just really into keeping track of all that shit. Yeah. Not like the the guy's athletic himself, but they're into athletics. And so they're like, well, I need to know every single athlete that's ever been associated with the sport i'm hyper focused on yeah how cringe is that being how are you gonna be hyper focused on a sport yeah not like not even e-sport like a regular one well no i think e-sports is worse (laughs) i don't i do not understand people watching e-sports or caring Um, about it i don't know why you could like you know, become a professional League of Legends. Well, I guess I can sort of, I don't know. I, I don't get it, to be honest. That's, that's your domain. I, still, uh, I definitely don't get how people could be like a pro Smash Melee player. Like, all you do is do Melee tournaments. Like, 20 years after the game <laughs> was released. I know people still like Melee, but it's like, come on. It's a good game. Uh, it's a good game. Here's a random article that's pretty interesting. Uh, how the about a random God... article? I knew it. The Godmother is a Mexican serial killer who, together with her son Roberto, murdered Roberto. and robbed murdered and robbed adults and elderly people in Chihuahua City. Ch- Chihuahua. Yeah, Chihuahua. Um, 2016 to, to 2018. Convicted of killing two women in February 2020. You imagine getting locked up right before the pandemic. It's just like, what's the point? Um, just like, let her go, man. Free the godmother for real. I mean, I could probably imagine because, uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't mind being locked up right before the pandemic. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, what's yeah. the point? Just be chilling. You just be chilling. Dude, I'm all about... I think I'm really all about chilling. I've never seen you not chilling. It's true, right? Mm-hmm. 
I'm always chilling. That's why I'm so well liked by our fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is an interesting. Maybe I understand why we do a true crime podcast. So I'm interested in this true crime, in this random farticle, as you call it. What's what's the uh, modus operandi of the godmother? She would approach the victims, earn their trust. Sometimes she would enter a relationship with them for the purpose of fraud. For example, buying various goods on credit. When she decided she no longer needed the victims, she would drug them with colonzepam and ransack their homes before either you know stabbing it. or strangling them to death. I You're familiar. I know a lot about what goes on in Chihuahua, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's interesting to be in a relationship with someone and then you're like, I'm over this. Let me drug them so I can steal from them. And then after I steal from them, I'm going to kill them. I would say they hadn't invented ghosting yet, but this happened in yeah. 2016. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we might be back on the, we might be doing true crime again. <laughs> <laughs> only, only difference is that we just hit random article on Wikipedia until we get a crime. <laughs> Yeah, that might be a better method than the yeah. tried and true Google funny crime 1997 Nevada. We're going to be getting the, these Mexican crimes. Yeah. I think there's something there. We got to look outside the world of the English speaking. We got to think outside the bun. <laughs> You're telling me, sister. Um, <laughs> oh man good stuff man. i dude i Truly. i really crack the fuck out of myself yeah nobody makes me laugh more than me <laughs> every time i'm about to record this podcast i'm like boy I, I sure hope i crack up sure hope that i'm about to crack up in the next hour <laughs> Oh, what's the interview about that the kid who from the? I think uh, it was Osmosis, Osmosis Jones. Oh yeah, <laughs> I really cranked up. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the interview of you after every episode is that kid. Yeah, boy, <laughs> truly cracking up for the last hour. Um, yeah, great time. I'm looking forward to cracking. Up. <laughs> uh. Let's just steal viral videos for our podcast. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Coach loves it. Dude, I, I, I'm cracking up to this video, man. It's a good video. It's a, it's a great video. Uh, he knows wish... that he's being funny, which yeah. is wild. So when I was that age, I had no idea that I was being funny. Yeah, if you were being funny at all. Well, people were laughing at me, but... Well. At me. Mm -hmm. Like, the, yeah. the the apparently kid yeah. who's, who's never been on live television before, he doesn't know that he's being funny. I also didn't think he was that funny either. I think it's funny to laugh at him. I, no, I just was like, oh, he's saying apparently a lot. Like, yeah, I, I just didn't. I didn't he's I don't all, know. He's like, the the joke of that video is that he's a bad news guest, and the joke on that is, yeah, of course, he's a child. Yeah, like I don't. <laughs> he's like four. Um, yeah, but the, the Osmosis, this week, you know, yeah, the Osmosis Jones kid is like he's is aware. He Twelve. He's, he's like. I I invented a funny bit. Let me run this by the news. I mean, he's Honestly, really... res respect to that dude. I'm really. You know what's crazy? To you want to this podcast later? <laughs> you want to feel old? That dude. <laughs> that dude was at the insurrection on January 6th. That's Via Getty. <laughs> I don't think Jake Thomas <laughs> is Via Getty. Jake Thomas might be Via Getty. Now, is the apparently kid Via Getty? 
<laughs> he might be. That I could believe. It'd be funny if Via Getty was just like, well, apparently, and everyone was like, huh. Yeah. Hmm. So it's funny when Familiar. He Who would be the funniest uh, child star to be at the insurrection? <laughs> Beans. <laughs> Yo. I feel like with... that's a that's not a like you can't he has to be excluded because that's like who's the funniest child yeah. star to anything remembering beans. that exists yeah <laughs> so if you exclude beans though um who's that better? who's that annoying kid from Hannah Montana he'd wear I hats would not sometimes know. I think his name is Rico in the show I don't know but him he'd be funny because I could also see that kid being like a, a young adult now and like yeah. being like yeah i i hate what about taj maori <laughs> what is he up to <laughs> what is taj maori Dude, there was a kid who looked like him at my school and for the longest time and i think his name was also taj and i was like oh yeah it's the same guy <laughs> that's him i'm like wow i can't believe he goes to our school and nobody talks about it. <laughs> <laughs> i guess i also won't talk about it so I look like I'm in on the bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. He had a, a long hiatus. Is he doing stuff again? Uh, he went to he went to TV, I guess. You know, there's a, a baby daddy show. No. There's a baby daddy show. He played the the lead character, as you might imagine, mm-hmm. with a hundred episodes. She was on for like five years. Yeah, that shit's syndicated. That's wild. Damn, that's crazy as hell. My man. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, his last movie role was Are We Done Yet? 2007, and then 2021, Welcome Matt. Welcome Matt. Who's, Welcome who Matt. Is Matt. We'll never know unless we watch the film. Uh, yeah, so it'd be very funny if Taj Mori, um was at the January 6th insurrection. I agree. Who the fuck added me on the dog zone? It was me. It'd be me. Oh, it was Matt. Um, or, speaking of, could be Doug Walker. Who's also a child star. If you think about it. Was he a child star? He was a child of God. True. I mean, our, and life's a stage. Life is a stage. I learned so that I from Super Mario Brothers 3. That is true. Because it is. <laughs> <laughs> or Paper, Paper Mario kind of has that aesthetic as well. You know? Yeah, I never played it. That's not oh, true. Dude, I, I played it. Love Paper Mario. I know. I, I honestly, I still think about getting Origami King all the time. Um, I kind of, dude. I was really con- like, I think after Triangle Strategy and I beat Elden Ring and like maybe some other games in my backlog. I think I might fuck around with Origami King if it was on sale. Yeah, I don't want to pay full price, but I did actually play Paper Mario. Um in a mcdonald's you remember when mcdonald's used to have like the gamecube set up oh yeah that's weird that they'd have paper mario of all they things. had paper mario like with if they like had a, sunshine a controller sure. i think you know? I, they switched it out occasionally i remember paper mario i remember sunshine um mm-hmm. it was all one player games and i remember the controller just having like sweet and sour sauce all over it all the time you just give it a nice lick. Yeah, you just like walk up, you just get sweet and sour sauce in your hands, and you play for like, I don't know, 45 seconds of Paper Mario, and you're like, hell yeah, dude. Gonna go to the play place and throw up on the balls. Hell yeah, dude. I think it's weird that they call it a play place. Like, I get it. Dude, it's pl- just play like, places don't exist anymore, man. Um, You're like, right. They're, they're- that's pretty true. It, yeah, that's pretty true. But I was thinking about it. It's like, at least as like, it's very much a nineties thing. I think it was like, they started making them in the late eighties and like, they're obviously very big in the nineties. And then like, you know, 
It's Mick Cafe. 2008. They're like, yeah, it's Mick Cafe time, so we're just going to stop. I feel like they still exist in suburbia. But I haven't been in suburbia. I've seen a Burger King with their equivalent. But I think that's less a function of like... Burger yeah, King it's not a choice. That's just it. like they yeah, just it's... haven't renovated the space in twenty years. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like they still exist in suburbia. If you got a double decker McDonald's, top floor might have a play place. I we don't have. I mean, I had a double decker McDonald's I, where I grew up in a in small town. I think that might be a Canadian thing because we don't have. There's Maybe. like a double decker McDonald's. It might even be a, a three story one. I'm not totally sure, but there's one in Orlando that's huge. I'm sure that one still has a play place because it's like they also serve it's pizza so there. It's like a special McDonald's. We used to have pizza. I don't know if you ever had pizza at your McDonald's. Uh, but that was like a thing. Um, the pizza McDonald's that lasted not that long, right? It was very short lived. I I have no memory of that, but we had once a month i think i talked about this before like once a month at school we would have pizza day where you would order in advance and pay in advance and then on the specified day they would bring in mcdonald's pizza um okay so mcdonald's pizza make the mcpizza is a discontinued um r.i.p uh, McDonald's menu item, which was launched in the mid 1980s and mostly discontinued in 2000. Um, mostly the, only one location in Orlando, Florida still serves the McPizza, which is the, mm-hmm. the fancy one. Wow. Look at that yes. knowledge. Know the so, ledge folks. Dude, we are knowing the ledge of McDonald's. You know what? I did notice uh, I was knowing the ledge yesterday. Uh, Cause I went to McDonald's and before I think I was complaining about how the medium and large drink prices had increased. Yeah. They're now back to being a dollar for all of them. Yeah. Which is, I don't know why they. They're just that. like, they're just fucking around feeling like, a little I goofy, mean, silly mood. I guess they're like, can we get away with this and blame, uh, inflation, inflation on, on the, the rising costs of, uh, just liquid sugar. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting thing. I have done like, I was going to say I have done research. I have read a thing about this. <laughs> I did see a meme read one time. A, a one thing. I was talking to somebody once and they're like, I was reading this article the other day and then they were telling me something. And I'm like, what article? And they're like, that was like a meme. And I was like, Come on, man. <laughs> just say you saw a thing online. You don't need to say you article. You don't have to say an article. Yeah, like, let's just, you know. <laughs> just chill. Because um, you wouldn't have asked any further if you were like, oh, yeah, I saw a thing online. You would have been like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I see things online all the time. Um, I totally forgot what I was saying. Mm-hmm. I read, I saw a thing online. What were we talking about? <laughs> Uh, the rising costs uh, of, the, yeah, yeah. of the, um, of the stuff at specifically, but not limited to like movie theaters, the medium sized drink mm-hmm. or popcorn is a fake out. Like you're not supposed to order that one. Okay. Um, Why? So I don't know. Uh, so the small is like small mm-hmm. and then the medium is a little bit bigger and like three dollars more and then the large is way bigger and like three dollars fifty cents more so then it'll be like you aren't small medium or large and then you're like medium they're like well for only 50 cents you get like way more and it's to bait you into not getting the small but is the small the small is definitely smaller than the medium but not by much, and the but large the is best much deal, bigger. Though? The large, probably. Well, because that's how I you look. Know, like, that's how I've always viewed this shit. Where I'm like, well, you know, it's like the large is double the small, and the medium is like ten percent bigger than the small. Yeah. 
And so to go from a small to a medium, you're getting 10% more and you're paying an extra $3. You're getting scammed. Mm -hmm. So so they're like, no one's actually going to get this because you just upsell them the 50 cents for the large. I do like a medium though sometimes. I just wish there was less ice. I order my drinks no ice. Wow. You're really you're really taking them into the cleaners. That's kind of a bad boy crime right there if you think about it. I I order my drinks no If you're going to like a fast food restaurant, they those drinks are chilled. They serve them cold. Mhm. They specifically make them cold before they give them to you. So you don't need the well, yeah, ice. Because all, all this stuff is going through the ice that's in the machine that you would get in your cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You don't need. You're right. You don't need the ice. I usually just do a little ice because I like that extra. Yeah. That extra chill. But it is pretty cold as is. Yeah. Um, a and W shout out a and W dude. Um, they advertise that they don't have ice because they're like, we cool our drinks to the ideal optimal temperature. So we don't F around with that, that hogwash. True? That's what they advertise here. Yeah. yeah but, it, but like, have you gone there and been like, wow, this is truly the ideal temperature. Um, it's a little bit warmer than I would like, but not much. Have you seen those um, those like rapid cooling stations? I have. Have you used? I've I've always seen them at like like Disney or like other theme parks. I'm like that. Like just like a cool. fan with a water mist no, no, no. in front it's of like, it, um, it's or for like drinks. A, it's for drinks. You like you you buy. Their, it's like a swirly little. It's like a toilet bowl of water. No, it's not a toilet bowl. There's no. It's <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck it is. I don't know what it does. But you buy your thing from the vending machine and they have this little stand thing that you place it in and it's supposed to like rapidly chill. Let me see if I can like look up a picture of what I'm talking about. So I don't sound um, like, an, like I haven't, I haven't seen those at a park, a playground of sorts, a theme uh, amusement. Uh, but I have uh, seen in a liquor store, they have that for chilling wine. Okay. And it's like, Arctic Coke is what it was. Okay. Yeah. Arctic I'll, Coke. I'll look it up. I'll do a little research. Arctic John Coke. How great is John Coke, folks? That's pretty great. Um, this is... This is oh, it turns it into a slushy is what it does. It doesn't just okay. chill it. it. Yeah, it's super chilled. But I, I don't understand how it works. Like it's you, you see the pictures, oh, right? You have like your case yeah. of sodi pops, and then it, there's yeah. just this metal thing that you just place it there, and it just makes it cold. I don't know. Uh, I would assume it also has a little bit to do with the fridge. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah. I just read the article. the The freezer keeps everything below freezing, and then the the slushy it just like vibrates thing it. just vibrates it, and then it. Yeah, crystallizes. That is not nearly as cool as like a it's, magic technology that sucks the heat out of things. Yeah, <laughs> I'm they, such an idiot. Yeah, to find out technology, and you're like, well, that's much less cool than literal magic. magic. Yeah. Well, I'm like, it's like I'm the idiot that would think this is the coolest shit ever, but I'm like too skeptical to actually buy it and use it. But otherwise, uh, I, I am the target audience because I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably very expensive. I can't imagine. It would be much more expensive, you know? Um, I imagine it's fairly expensive. Oh, you mean as a consumer? I'm imagining that you're buying oh, this machine. It? Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, that sure. That no, was, as a consumer, just buying the yeah, yeah. the drink I would, I would absolutely buy expensive. these. I yeah. it's probably the same price. What are they? What does that cost them? What's the bottom line? What are your overheads on this shit? They can't be like huge, you know. It's probably it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Now I'm getting ads for uh, Coca Cola Starlight. So nice. 
Shout out Starlight, dude. It's a dude, good drink. It's a great drink. I, a it's lot a great of jacket. Not liking it. The jacket's so fucking cool. <laughs> the jacket is cool. It makes me mad that it's so cool. cool. I know, right? Because it's, it's something stupid I would buy. Because it's like about as dumb as the Captain Crunch thing, which admittedly, still pretty cool. But it's great. It's it's just so much better because it's like, oh, I can wear this, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is kind of like this drippy for real. Yeah. I, I hope they make a jacket for the the Coke Zero variant of the, the Pixel one that's coming out. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what it's called. I, I thought it was called Static. Um, stupid. Yo, this looks sick. The Pixel one? Yeah, I've never, I've never looked into it. It's Fortnite flavored? What is this? I, they were distributing it virtually in Fortnite, which... <laughs> It's so fucking stupid. Um, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. I'm no longer on board with it, actually. It's pretty It's pretty bad. I'm tired of things debuting in Fortnite. I feel like Fortnite, they've gone should, too far. I think you should get in on Fortnite, man, and play with me and Chris. <laughs> Um, I would, but I'm working on um, Kyoto Legends of um, Murai. Yeah, true, true. That's pretty true. I really should That's... work on my game. <laughs> yeah. It's all up in the noggin. Like, I literally just have to, to do it. Translate it. I'm looking up the, the Coca-Cola Starlight merch, finding out how much you paid for this. <laughs> it's like 100 bucks. Yeah. Which I mean, honestly isn't that bad. No, it's absolutely reasonable. If it wasn't Coke branded, it wouldn't be. Um, well, I don't know about the quality of it, but the the swag of it. Would if it less. didn't say if it didn't say Coke, no, it would be more. I think. I think it would be, um, like something a rapper could wear. True. Low Palestine. I, I, feel like it's, I feel like the cokiness of it is is it's not super. In no, it's face. not. It's if the Coke branding was more in your face, more like um like a NASCAR driver. Yeah, like big old patches. Then you could be like sponsored by by Doctor John Coke. Yeah, but because it's minimal, it's just like oh, you have merch from coca-cola.ca <laughs> i use a canadian website to be divisive to be, to um, be silly yeah <laughs> be a silly because that's guy. they don't sell it on that website no they that's the know. that's the trick um yeah like i have sonic merch and it's not cool i want to get domino's merch like i just want to dress up like a domino's delivery driver <laughs> I mean, you could do like that from just... the '90s. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can't do I that. Think, I think that's kind of drippy. That You're might like, be yo. Just get a job at Domino's. Yeah, you could. Um, but speaking of, uh huh. Mecha Godzilla oh, in a in a Domino's <laughs> delivery driver. <laughs> that would be a spe- like that would be a special promo code where you'd like you'd, it'd be a collab with Domino's. It's like oh, if you order a pizza this weekend. You'll get a code in your email, and you enter that into the game. And you get Mecha Godzilla Domino's guy. Yeah, and As then we skin. get a kickback from the Zaws. We do, we do. <laughs> I, I'm thinking this is a business opportunity. We just got to get somebody who can uh, make a battle royale game. <laughs> we got to yeah, get the guy just... who did the Ukraine uh, anti mission in Ukraine. Yeah, get that guy. Is that a battle royale? <laughs> it's not, but it's a shooting game. Like you're right. just an anime girl with a gun, and it's like a third-person shooter. Okay. And it looks like shit. But we could get that guy and be like, what if instead of an anime girl, it's kind of... Hear me out. Hear, hear me, me out. out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Mothra. With that would be cool big if they were titties. Like, if they were, like, big and you can, like, climb up buildings and stuff. So Like, the like Rampage. Huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it was a Battle Royale game. Yeah. That would be kind of sick. And you, it wouldn't even have to be like a hundred person. Like you could do like an eight 
monster battle royale yeah. thing. Uh, there's and a Canadian know. battle royale, the Darwin Project. Shout out the Darwin Project. It's ten, and that's just like, I think they might be small. I think they might be small guys. Um, but I mean, imagine if it was big guys. Imagine if it was big guys, and you, yeah, no one climb up the buildings. No, nah, never mind. I was gonna say no one's done a battle royale with classes, but they absolutely have. But it would, I mean, it would be classes based on which character you pick. And you yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like this. People would play that. People would play the, that. The ten people in our Discord would absolutely play this if it were free. Yep. <laughs> and some people would definitely spend twenty dollars for it anyway. I would definitely spend twenty dollars. You gotta get. Um, I mean, like, I know that it's been done by Rugrats, but Reptar in a in a Santa Claus outfit, Godzilla in a Santa Claus outfit. It's swaggy. Mm-hmm. Dude, how great uh, is Reptar? We could we would talk to uh, talk mm-hmm. to Nickelodeon and be like. Can we add Hear me out. as a skin for Godzilla? That would honestly, that would make me. I would spend fifty five dollars Canadian on this game base game, <laughs> ten dollars per outfit if I could be Reptar. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm Reptar. We got a biz- Like I feel like this could be a big thing, and then I yeah. use the funds from this to fund my Your, games that yeah. are for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that's kind of what Epic does anyway, though, right? They just take their Fortnite money and they just kind of like throw it around. <laughs> yeah, they're just like giving out free games all the time that nobody wants to play. There's so many free games being given out from various services, and I'm like, I don't have time for this. You know? What yeah. I, mean? like, I don't even have time to like click the all save this in my library i'll download it later button Mm -hmm. it's like i'm i'm busy dude i got a full-time job and a wife i don't have time to be clicking save the library Mm -mm. no Uh uh-uh dude it's like i barely have time to play the games that i want to play like that i've spent money on yeah like like, i'm not gonna play hentai mission ukraine those two dollars and probably hour of my time are gonna be (laughs) <laughs> yeah i also don't think there's any actual nudity in it as far as i can tell from the thing like i i think it's just called hentai mission ukraine oh yeah. folks check it out uh, uh, coach recommends hentai mission ukraine all right and if it breaks your computer um my bad that's not my problem yeah should have thought about that you should have thought about that Dude, I'm thinking about going to Target after we finish recording just to look at Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, I've been. They they released these sets, and I like was at Target, and it's the same. It's same as like the Pokemon card. I was there. I grabbed the set of thing, and I was like, "Cool." I opened it. I was like, "Wow, this is actually really great." I would like to buy another, please. And I go back the next day, fucking nothing. It's, yeah, they're um, they're sold out. They're sold out Im- immediately, and I'm like, really. Mm-hmm. You gotta get about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You gotta get a tin. It wasn't a tin, but it was a box. It was like a little. Yeah, you, box I'm saying you gotta get the tin. Well, I'll get the tin, but that comes out in like August or September. The tins are. Easy. I feel like they make a lot of the tins. Like those don't yeah. sell as well. Um, you gotta hang on. Wait for it. Mm-hmm. It's loading. Mm-hmm. The reference is loading. I'm I'm on the edge of my seat. Um, fuck, fuck, it's not loading. All right, forget it. I just wanted to reference a Yu-Gi-Oh card that wasn't Exodia, and I can't do it. Blue eyes, white dragon. That sucks. It's a stupid reference. Black Summon eyes, red skull. dragon. A little it's, bit cool. It's red eyes, black dragon. Fuck. Um, what did I say? I said black dragon, red eyes. Come on, give me a break. Uh, what about? Gaia the Fierce Knight. There you go. Mm-hmm. Dark Magician. There we go. Dude, I, lo- I love Dark Magician cards. They're so nah, that's a, now. a classic. Dark that's Magician one I remember. Girl. 
Huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> what does that look like? Uh, it, she's she's like dressed up in the same outfit, but um, it's like a skirt, and uh, she's blonde. Mm. And kawaii. I'm listening. You're like trans dark magician. You say. <laughs> <laughs> The, yeah. the head kid of that dark magician girl is actually the same as dark magician just on <laughs> yeah HRT. which is why she has worst attack and defense it's very funny <laughs> it's very funny to be like here's a magician they can do anything they have to take they still have estrogen to do pills <laughs> they have to go to their doctor and get estrogen pills um yeah <laughs> all right I, I made the reference. We Dark did it. I think, that, I think that was good. That was good. Um, now we have to record a new episode tomorrow so we don't put this one out so no one steals our Godzilla Battle Royale idea. I don't think anyone listening to this will steal the idea. <laughs> you don't know how big That's this episode's going to go. This is going to be the one that's going to shoot us to the top of the charts. We're going from number... 128 in Tanzania to 127. And, you know, maybe the, in the old days. We're 128 now. We're going to go to uh, 95th in Djibouti. Yeah. I love Djibouti. How great is Djibouti? Um, it's pretty great. Our numbers are going to skyrocket in Nairobi. And then, um, you know, some Kenyan is going to steal our sick idea. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, So we got to do a new episode tomorrow. But did you know that March 27th, 2022, Yu-Gi-Oh! joined up with Turning Red? What? What? Um. Yeah. Some Turning strange... red eyes, black dragon. <laughs> yeah. Um. I I don't know what's happening, but this is on comicbook.com. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send this article to you. This farticle. As farticle as I famously have once said, you invented it. Um. I thought that this was official, but I think it's just a tweet that some guy made. <laughs> and it's uh, Disney crossover. Turning red is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think this yeah, is just this a is tweet with like 8,000 likes. <laughs> um, this seems like the headline, the headline makes it seem like it's an official thing. This is nothing. This is somebody drew fan art that wasn't good. It has 8,000 likes, which is a lot of likes, but to get an article on comicbook.com feels a little flimsy. Megan Peters. Megan Peters. I'm on to you. Megan Peters. Megan anime queen, K-pop enthusiast, pop culture fanatic who will write about most anything and everything. Oh, we know, Megan. Yeah, we clearly will write about anything. Why would you put that in your like little bio, right? Like, oh, I, I really do not have any discerning eye for what I will write about as long as it gets clicks. Which yeah. in there in her, and I hate that that like that has made me not click on anything ever. And I'm just such a like less curious person because I'm like, oh, this this all sucks. Yeah, I hate the amount of clickbait that just like destroyed my ability to uh, be interested in anything. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, what I was doing for a little while is when I would see clickbait, I wouldn't click on it. I would Google it. Mm-hmm. Um, specifically one to to um, circle back to an earlier comment. Um, one, I got a clickbait article headline that was like, you'll never guess what Taj Mori looks like now. And then I Google it. I'm like, yeah, just looks like a 30 year old guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just looks like he grew up, man. It's, he's 
<laughs> he's born in like 86 or something, man. It's not that wild. Um, but that was like five years ago that I did that. I don't do that anymore. All right. That's the episode. Nobody steal our idea. It's a great idea. It is a great idea. We will do it. Uh, we're going to have Alligator Man in it. <laughs> that's like a, that's like a secret unlockable character. <laughs> yeah. But like, like, because you know how fighting games always have like a joke character that sucks. Yeah. Ours would be Alligator Man. That would be good. What if it's like, so we have, let's say, 12 base characters. Uh-huh. And then do you have a random button? Mm-hmm. Or it's always random? No, I think you, I think, well, because you're like, each character is probably going to have different. Yeah, I, th- I feel like, yeah, they will. So, and I think the the thing is you want to avoid because there's going to be a best character, right? Of course. Always and you want to avoid everybody just picking Mecha Mothra or whatever it ends up being. Mm-hmm. Um, so we could do like, uh, did you ever play Super People? No, I did not play Super People. Super People is <laughs> that sounds kind like a of fake thick. Game. <laughs> it is. Um, it's a battle royale, very heavily influenced by PUBG. Um, but it has classes and it's like random, but when you win rounds, you get points that go towards re-randomizing or just picking Mm -hmm. which one you want, uh, because you want to, in some ways, auto balance it. Right. Right. Um, so maybe you, if you, it's always random and then there's like a one in 800 chance that you get alligator man. I I don't know about that. It also encourages you to get outfits for every character because you're not you can't just main one of them and get the best outfit. You people, have to That's not how people work. That's not no one people would see that and they wouldn't play the game. You have to let them be Mothra. You have to let them get kimono Mothra. Uh I don't know. For like thirty dollars for that one skin. Yeah, maybe it's uh, (coughs) bless Bless you. you. Maybe we do. You pick three, and it'll random from those three. No. All right. I think we'll work out. I think with a roster that tight, it won't like. If there was one character that was really good, you could probably like. There will be counter picks. I don't know. I feel like they just have different. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll balance it out. Maybe we'll do Apex Legends and we do uh, three people teams. per team. And then teams you can... Dudes. Yeah. If, well, I mean, possibilities are almost endless. And then, yo, I just realized every Battle Royale I've played is like you drop from the, the bus or the airplane or whatever. What if you come up from the ground? That's what I'm saying. Is you walk up out of the ocean. Yeah, okay. Like okay, Godzilla. Where, where in the ocean you want to spawn? Yeah. Around the island. Because, of course, it's an island. Yeah, it's is an Japan. island just a fucking big-ass city? Perhaps, like, a, a jungle area? Yeah. Perhaps a volcano mountain area? Like, mm-hmm. three big... Don't give mountains. away too much. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe yeah. there's an underwater section, who's to say? Maybe. A little lake like a, in the a middle. Lake in the middle, yeah, with like little ruins and shit in it. Oh, yeah, this Atlantis. Is into a game, baby. <laughs> now, this is this, this is, is honestly this is honestly what... a great idea. <laughs> if only either of us had any talent and anything. If anybody listening wants to get in on this, uh, join the Discord. Yeah, before this episode goes out, DMs. I am going to copyright the entire idea. It's all we trademarked. Are copied, we said it. Yeah, we <laughs> we're working on it right now. Don't steal. This is my OC. Don't steal. Yeah, we own the rights to Godzilla and Mothra, and <laughs> everything's fine in that regard. Uh, totally you, fine. <laughs> you cannot come for us. No. Um, and then. Mm-hmm. 
I guess that's it. I guess that's it. With the lake idea, be a King Kong with a scuba outfit? Like a nice. tiny one where it's just like it has the the full like yeah yeah that would be sick also be but then you one. don't know you don't really know that you're king kong but maybe you want that maybe, maybe that's a, a stealth like, benefit maybe it's like the arms and legs are kind of like exposed and then like he just has the mask and like a pack on his back or something yeah and flippers yeah yeah, yeah. But he's wearing it all the time, and it affects your movement heavily. No, no, it does not. No, it does not. <laughs> it's just cosmetic only. Okay, let's 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 be real game designers for a second in our fucking <laughs> pretend idea, which is a great idea. It's, the idea it's is real, idea. but the idea the is execution's real. pretend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretend execution, honestly. I love pretend execution. <laughs> I love thinking about things to do and then never doing them. Yeah. Oh man, what a treat! You know what would have been a great candidate for that? What? This podcast. <laughs> it kind of was for a little bit, and then we and then we actually did it, and we're like, oh, that's we why executed. you just do pretend execution and not real yeah. execution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should have pretend executed um, Osama bin Laden. Anyway, that's the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Rate us five stars on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Deezer, etc. Etc. Google Podcasts, Spotify, uh, mm-hmm. Apple Music, YouTube, um, A- and Amazon. Yep. Listen to. You don't need to list if this is your first episode, download every episode and then instantly delete them. I don't care. Just pump those numbers up a little bit. Leave us a review. Hmm? Yeah, I said that one. Okay. Um that's the epi. You have anything you want to add? Any plugs? Any future no. projects? No, nothing uh Nothing real. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. Nothing actually executed. Yeah, uh, let me begin executing something before where, where there's like a, a an end date in sight, and then I I will plug something. But in the meantime, nothing's coming on. Okay. Uh, um, actually, no. Uh, check out my Twitch stream, uh, Robinson B Crusoe. On yeah, you've Twitch. been you've been I've streaming been doing that again. That's fun. Uh, very cool. I pop in from time to time. I popped in on your last one, and then my internet immediately decided it didn't want to watch your stream. And you're like, thank God. Yep. <laughs> I said one thing, and then like it froze, and I, I'm like, died. maybe he's, well, maybe even, he's like, talking turned, to me I for like 10 minutes. I turned off ads for, or should have turned yeah. off ads, so that shouldn't be an issue anymore, because I, I felt like that was dumb. I'll just take yeah. the subscription money from people who feel like putting that my way. That's fine. The, the ad money isn't worth irritating people. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, so that's your plug. I'm going to plug... Um, here's a discussion question. Mm-hmm. Just think about this. Discuss mm-hmm. it with your friends, family, dentist, co-workers, whatnot, what have yous. Um, what do you think the moon is hiding on the other side? Uh, that's the not moon for you. Is hiding. Yeah, you know how you only see one side of the moon, no matter where on Earth you are. Yeah, it's on the other side, man. Think about it. There's no way to know that the moon isn't flat the same way the Earth is flat. True. That's so true, King. That's um. True. All right. That's it, folks. Think about that. Get back to me. Email us at badboycrimespod at gmail.com. That's, I got nothing else. Goodbye. Goodbye.